going on with the tub removal. With the help of the old man, I was able to take that off. It's actually quite heavy. Definitely a two-person job, if not really should have been a four-person job. But anyway, we managed. Right, now, I've got to this point now where I can give you a bit of a rundown on the chassis, I think. Or what's left of it. So, um, look, some, some of the areas are quite sound. I mean, that all, all looks pretty good. It's all pretty good. That's all good. But what's happened here is you can see the accumulation of, of dirt. And um, when I start scraping this out, I don't only get dirt, but I also get rust. So it's just, yeah, it's basically rusting from inside out and no surprises with the amount of dirt. I mean, this stuff gets wet, dries, wet, dries, and you get the idea. It's just um, breeding ground for the um, tin worm. And, um, you see here, sorry for the shaky camera as I'm bashing this out, but... So that outrigger would need to be replaced. I mean, we've still got accumulation of dirt everywhere. But we'll continue on. Put a bit of light on here. So, looks like the two rails down here look okay. Outriggers would have to be redone. So, for example, if I was to work on this one, and that's assuming too that there's no more rot that I haven't yet poked around at. But obviously from the cross member backwards, that's where the, um, the damage is. And somebody's in the past um, fixed this up and actually they haven't done a bad job. You can see here where they've cut this huge C-section because this is just a C-section channel. And so they've cut it and re-welded it on, onto the back. And of course, that's, um, that won't buff out. All that is gone. Great big whopping hole, and we saw that from beforehand. Actually, surprisingly, that is actually not too bad. Hmm. Anyway, irrespective, you can see the the world job here. And of course, um, underneath is where all the action is. So this one has been repaired. I don't know if you can see that because of the um, of the contrasting light, but you can see here there's a there's a a plate that's been cut to give it that V shape or that angle shape, and underneath here is been welded to it. Again, not a bad job, I mean, yeah. That looks all fairly reasonable. Of course, that's all gone. This is what I was saying, pretty much from, from that cross member backwards, 
it needs to be replaced. And again, more So obviously here, there's the other side where it's been welded, I guess that's factory, where they join the pieces together. Hello. Um, little damage here. This is the bottom mount for the shock absorber. What the yeah, I know. I'll... Got another tool here. Okay. It's all pretty good there, no worries. Obviously this one here is okay because it's not enclosed so um, it doesn't suffer the same fate being a dirt trap. You can see the dirt in there, chockers, and I've already showed you the bulkhead outrigger here. Don't need to be replaced. And like I said, all, all of these, these, the two there, and these two will need to be replaced if I was to keep the chassis. Not sure about the springs, they seem to be like separating a little bit there and it might be due to rust the other side's not as bad so yeah and the front which when I get it out I can I can show you but effectively the front uh, cross member to the all the way to the dumb irons that's all rusted Got it out like here. And here is the tub underside. I suppose no surprises here. These this is not gonna do anything. Good clean up um, should be enough just to make sure that I clean underneath these channels, repair where I need it, and like the rest of it full of crud, but that's fine. There is 
Um, not there. Over here, you can see there. That looks like a bit of aluminium rust as such. Uh, but it's not too bad. And there is a little bit of buggy if I know what that is. Looks like stone, stone holes, etc. This one's just got a couple, nothing major though. But that's the, that's the damaged side. So there you have it, folks. One pretty well rusted out chassis. And as for the bulkhead, when I remove the front wings, I'll show you the bulkhead. That's pretty gone as well. Lots to replace. Doesn't look as bad like this, but uh, it certainly is. Anyway, that's another update. So I'm really wrapped that we got to this point, making lots of progress over a small amount of time. And if you've got any suggestions or hints for me in terms of the chassis or prep work or anything like that, I'm all ears. This is all new to me. Uh, I've never gone this far with a rebuild before. So I'm going, uh, well, I'm learning as I'm going along, really. So um, I really would appreciate any hints for those who have done this before. Stay tuned for the next one and um, thanks for watching.